guys. I know this is a super random video for me to make, especially since I haven't posted anything in like 10 months on this channel, but I have been playing this game way too much, like way, way too much uh, for the last few months. And I figured why not make a video with some gameplay and also catch you up on what is going on. <laughs> um, so this is Supermarket Simulator. It is super duper addicting, especially if you like like organizing games, simulator games, obviously. It is super fun. Um, I have never, other than like streaming wise, I've never done like a let's play type of video and just shown gameplay, especially since I'm not using my webcam right now. Um, I'm probably going to use it in the next coming videos, but I just wanted to kind of record this while I played and just kind of see if it's even worth making a video out of. <laughs> um, so I am well into the game, as you can see. I'm store level 46. I did think about starting over so that I could make this video, but for right now, I'm gonna just enjoy playing. You know, that was the whole point of this, is to not stress about the video and just kind of record while I play. And if you guys want to see me start a new store from the beginning so that you could see that gameplay, you know, from the beginning of the game, then I would be happy to do that. But for now, I like my store. I've put a lot of work into it and I already have my next plans of what I wanna do with it. So we're gonna start from right where I left off. So I'm gonna try and not edit this video too much, but you will see some edits when there's either just like really long pauses of me doing nothing or I have my little guy, Teddy, who is falling asleep right now, but just in case he wakes up or anything like that, since I do play this game during naps and sleep, um, there will might be some pauses <laughs> and edits that sometimes maybe don't make sense, but it is what it is and that's just how this is gonna be. I just realized my sound wasn't on, like my audio wasn't on from the game earlier, so I just fixed that and we should be good to go. So let me catch you guys up on my store here. Um, for the most part, I'm gonna assume that most of you have played this game if you're watching or maybe thinking about playing the game, but you probably have a gist of what this game is. Um, to put it simply, it is literally a supermarket simulator. You can be a cashier, you can stock, you can order items, all this fun stuff I'll show you guys as we go along, but this is my store. Right now I feel like it's just like super generic-y, <laughs> but I'm trying to save up money to get some better looking shelving, do some like end cap shelves. I saw somebody on a video I was watching that they did like kind of a beer cave, like you know how, like almost like a beer fridge, but obviously you can't do like a walk-in fridge in this game, it's not one of the furnitures you can pick, but I saw them do like shelving on the outside and then you kind of made like a doorway that would bring you to like the alcohol section. And that is definitely something I want to do soon. However, right now, this is the only license I have for alcohol. So I think, I think like the license for the next alcohol is pretty expensive. Isn't that crazy expensive, but it's store level 56. So I still have a little bit to go, 10 levels to go. Um, I think that's, yeah, that's the next one. I think before I get that, license there was one more i wanted to get but actually now i don't know so this cake one i really like the idea i've seen some people do they kind of do like end caps at the end of the registers i want to have the registers going like this way and then put like one of the half shelves these half shelves here with like candy so you know like when you're checking out you are enticed to buy chocolate as we all are at the grocery store so I really like that idea, and I think that is what I'm going to work on next. However, the store is a little small, and I want to expand this section, but I don't know if it expands only half of this or this whole wall. I can't remember. If it does this whole wall, it would be freaking awesome. That would be perfect. But anyway, let me run a day since I am perfectly stocked, and while we run the day, I'll kind of just talk about the plans. So for the most part, what I like to do is um, stock as the day goes on. I let my cash register kind of pile up, so I don't like, I usually don't go 
and catch somebody out the second that I hear the ding, but depends on what I'm doing at the moment. But I like to stalk during the day and at the very end, unless something is like totally missing, at the end of the day is usually when I start to restock back here. I have a lot of empty shelves in here because you need to have shelves in order to get more stalkers, which these guys, well, that was really creepy. <laughs> Um, so that's why there's a lot of empty shelves and I don't have a lot of licenses yet because this is my second playthrough of this game and like once that big update came out and I've been taking it much slower with the licenses trying to see if you know taking it slower gives you more money rather than just like every time you can buy a license buying it because it really like you can get really confused really fast and really behind on stocking if you don't kind of keep up with it so we're just gonna kind of wait here until people start buying some stuff and then we'll start stocking just so you know i am very like fidgety with this game i don't, I don't do that i'm sorry i didn't mean to do that but i'm very fast moving and i kind of just so i really hope it's ooh, i didn't mean to i really hope it's not super duper annoying and i'm sorry if it is I have major OCD with things, so like I love the look of this being full, and if I'm not doing anything at that moment, I'll just stock it, but typically if it's, there's like one or two missing, I don't normally go crazy in stock, but see the bleach is missing quite a few, and they're busy, so I'll do it, especially if I know that I can get rid of a box. I'll do it before them because they I feel like they tend to grab the box with like more items in it where I would rather them grab the one that had less so that we can get rid of the box but I don't know if that's something that they're gonna work on on the update and I really hope it is but we'll see I thoroughly thoroughly enjoy cashing people out <laughs> it is like my favorite part of the game I think all right so yesterday I got my highest like my highest total yet. I think it was like 313, which is crazy. I have not seen anything above 300 um, since then. And I, I barely even seen anything like above 200 since then, which I thought was super weird. Like I've actually, the last few days, people have been like getting really small orders and I don't like it, but we'll see. I was watching some videos of other people playing this game and I was trying to figure out, like, is there a strategy? Like, you know, in real life, <laughs> in real life, um, the placement of, like, certain products and the way you price it and all that stuff, you know, entices people to buy something or not to buy something. But I don't know if that really is, like, a thing here. For example, basically all of my product is roughly 10 to 15 cents more, and it doesn't seem like any of the customers really care. And it doesn't seem like it really changes anything. Oh, come on. I hate when there's one left. It doesn't seem like it really changes, like, their shopping habits or anything like that. And I could be wrong, but it's not something that I've noticed. And um, there was also, like, a rumor going around that if you have, like, you see how I have two rows of coffee here. If you have, like, four it makes people buy more, like the more stock that you have, but I feel like that also hasn't been proven fully either, so I'm not really sure, but my goal is to try and get another $300 order. I mean, I have no control over it, but <laughs> it would be nice to see. Nice, a lot of sushi there, bud. Whoa, press the wrong button. Uh, let's see, let's get some chips going. put in the wrong shelf. I love throwing the boxes. <laughs> I think they like prioritize empty boxes. So once one of them is done stocking something, they'll grab that. See, they'll grab that like immediately. So it's really nice. So it saves a lot of time not having to go back to the trash can. Um, is there anything else there? Might as well do the rice while I'm here. Wow, it's already 6 o'clock in the game. That day went by super fast. Thank you, ma'am. Whoa. It's 
so funny when like you can't see their huge order because they have a lot of items. Let's turn the lights on. And then you start scanning and like everything pops up. It's always a nice surprise. Anything here that is like crazy about to be out? No. All right, we're good. Sorry for my mouse stuttering. I cannot stand how slow these cashiers are. Come on, buddy, pick up the pace. Look at this crazy line. Why is nobody coming here? I'm way faster. I am employee of the month here. That was pretty nice. 209. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. $12. Um, sometimes I have like brain farts. Especially with the cash. Because of the way it like shows the order. Let's get some tea up in here. Nope, wrong tea. My bad, my bad, my bad. For those who have played this before, I played the, this a lot before the big update came out. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? But they just released a big update like a month ago where the stalkers now help you bring out items from the street too. Before they were just stocked like from the back into the store. But now if you buy like a shit ton of items, they'll help you stock, which is really nice. And they also got these big ass racks where before it was only four shelves. But getting to the top one sometimes, especially when there's like a tiny box left, is a little finicky. It's my extras um, shelf. All right, I'm gonna go catch these guys out before the line gets too long. So yeah, I was thinking about trying to lower my prices and see if that would entice people to buy more, but I just like, I really don't think there really is a correlation from what I've noticed. But, again, I could be wrong. No, oh, twins. Hello there. Thank you. Some bleach and some coffee. Good combination. Whoa, that was empty. What was that? I know this was running low. Yep, see? There's that one there. I want, I want to get rid of that for sure first. Uh oh, somebody said they were out of something. I think it was potatoes. My bad. Oh, I didn't realize this box carried two. Yeah, we are completely out of potatoes, but it is already 9 o'clock, so I cannot place my order. Oh no. Wow, we're actually out of a few things. I wasn't paying attention because I was chatting too much. My bad. I did not mean to give you that. Thank goodness. I caught that. Alright. There's probably nobody else in the store, right? Okay. So, at this point, I kind of just help them stock because it just goes so much faster. And when I order a big order in the morning, it's not going to take forever for them to help me bring stuff in the street because most of the stuff inside will already be stocked. So, where were we? Potatoes, we already know we're missing, so I can't even stock that, but let's get the pasta all fixed. And then uh, the blue pasta. Mm, let's get the three first. Yeah, that's something that I really hope they bring in the update, like organizing the shelf at like the lowest, the box with like the lowest amount of items in it. Either like gets brought to the top or that's just what you automatically grab. That would be really nice because my OCD just does not like the way it's organized. All right. I also don't want to like bore you guys with overly too much stocking, so I'll do some and if I find that it's too much, I'll edit it out. But for now, I'm going to play the game kind of like I always play, but if you see a big edit and we just like flip to morning time to start a new day, then that's why. It's not me trying to like cut out something. <laughs> just don't want to bore you. Even though I love stocking. Stocking's like my favorite part. <laughs> oh, 
You know, these guys need to move faster. They need to, like, run. Sprint, like me. Oh, gosh. I literally hate when there's one left in the box. Uh, see, now I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this on top so we grab that first. Um, is that pasta okay? Oh, this probably has less, actually. Yep. Just want to make sure that gets thrown. Yeah, might as well put the two here. No, there. Honey. Honey, honey. More honey. Whoa, more honey. I actually have a decent amount of money. I might be able to do... Oh, right. I was going to say I might be able to do that end cap thing with the candy, but I don't know if it's going to fit. If I if I turn these sideways, I think, I think the half shelf will fit. All right, let's skip the day. Yeah, three products not found. My bad, my bad. We still had a positive day, though even with the big supply cost that we had. So that is a big plus. Olive oil and a six pack of beer. So let's do 85 and a six pack of beer. Was it? Oh, it's this, right? Um, okay, so should I do 10? Let's do 10 and I'll keep an eye on it and see if people freak out. that is going to be at least decently stocked now are they working on that okay so let me see if i were to rearrange this so the belts on this side some of these people are going to be on the right so maybe we'll make this i don't see i'd have to buy the mirrored one and i don't want to spend a lot of money so let's put him up against the wall and kind of wait but is the shelf going to go here is that block where people stay, or do the people stay here? I think people stay like here, right? So I think I can put the shelf there. And then I can put this guy. He's gonna kind of be in front of the door. Is that weird? Yeah, that's weird. Here. Let's do it like this. We'll put two here. And two. Okay, so that's better, right? Okay. I think this could work. How many candy items are there anyway? Oops, wrong button. Let's pay some bills real quick. We'll do tomorrow's pills. Um, so one, two, three, that's a cereal, and that's a yogurt. So one, two, three, four. Shoot, so there's four. Crap. Okay, so what we'll have to do is we will put these two cakes together, and then the candy and the chocolate bar, they're separate. They're separate half shelf. Let me buy one first, because I have yet to buy a half shelf yet. I'm pretty sure this is what I need to buy. Oh, shoot, I want to do a different color. I always forget that I can do different colors now. That's part of the new update as well. Should I do it here? Or should I do it like right? I just don't want it to interfere with the people, but I don't think it's going to, right? Does that look stupid? Or does that look okay? Or should I do it like, no, I think this is gonna look dumb. Yeah, that looks really stupid. Um, okay, let's just try it like this, I guess. All right, so I'll buy two more of those. Do I want to do a different color of them? Hmm. Can I paint that? Let me see, can I even paint that? I'm just gonna try painting it for the heck of it. You cannot paint those. Okay, so I would have to literally sell it and purchase another one. I don't even know what color I would get. The color got, the customization and colors got added in the new update, so I keep forgetting about them. Let's see. My th kind of theme is like this green and brown. I haven't done that wall yet because I just opened that expansion and I don't want to waste all the paint if I don't know if that's going to be green or brown yet. But um, I want to change the flooring, but man, I think it's so expensive. Is it expensive actually? 
So you get 10. I don't know if that is 10 boxes. Like, how much does that cover? I don't know. Let's worry about that later. Um, let's see. Uh, I mean, it's only $85. So, like, I can just see what it looks like and then throw it out if I don't like it. Is brown weird? Brown might be weird. But I kind of want to try it. <laughs> let's see. It's going to be so weird, isn't it? Is that weird? I kind of like it actually. I, should I just leave this one this color or does that look stupid? Or you know what? No, you know what? No, we're gonna box this up. Where can I put this? I'm gonna put this like here. And get it out of the way. And we'll just do this. I'm sure I'll use a half shelf at some point somewhere else. So. So let's make them all look the same. Um, okay. And then we'll buy the license. We have plenty of money, so I should be able to get the license and stock up. Okay. I'm not sure I like the way that looks yet, but we're going to go with it. And if we need to, we'll move stuff around. Okay, let's buy this. I was like, are they glitched? Perfect, take that. Give me the chocolate. Okay. I don't I don't hate this. I don't hate this. Um, I kinda like this color and I kinda hate this color now, but we're gonna go with it and I am not rebuying and restocking all these shelves, so that is not happening. I don't know why they're not taking out my trash. I might save and come back because I feel like they're acting kind of weird. All right, hopefully they aren't glitched or being weird, but let's say so. Let's do 405. Um, I don't want to go too, too high on everything, but... Oh no, wait, there's more. So we need cereal. I'm just gonna buy one at a time so that they don't steal it. Give it to me. Um, I don't have a spot for cereal here, like damn it. See, this is what I hate, like when you get new licenses and expand. Uh, I like to have everything in the same spot. I guess it's time to move the cereal then. Sometimes I get lost because I am so freaky with this game. Should I do two? Yeah, screw it. I have so many shelves. I know I'm going to regret that when I get new licenses, but whatever. All right. It is actually the next day, like in real life. <laughs> um, I got off to get some dinner, and then I just ended up getting off for the night. So... We're gonna play a little bit until the little guy wakes up, which honestly should be pretty soon, but not like it matters for you guys because I'll just edit it to the next time I'm on, so. Okay. I actually totally forgot to pay attention to how many customers I had before I closed the game, before I closed the day. I'm gonna fill up the dish soap. Might as well, since I have a minute. Uh, I'm gonna do this cheese as well. But for that red cheese, whatever this cheese is, I want to wait until those are done because that's gonna bug me. <laughs> All right, they can take care of that. Cool. So I'm gonna take a look real quick at the next license that I want to get. Let's pay some bills. You know what? I'm just going to pay these all. 
I have plenty of money right now. Uh, I don't need any more storage space for a while because I have a lot of empty racks. Um, so this will open up that next section. That's pretty expensive. But I do think I'm going to need to expand in order to even get another license because I have no empty shelves, right? Uh, I guess technically I could add two here. Actually, two might be enough. I only have one fridge space, but I could get another fridge and it would fit here. And I also have this random spot here. Okay, so I might be able to get one more license depending on what the items are. Um, so ice cream and stuff. Ice cream and another cheese. I mean a pizza. I would need another freezer. Chips, flour, mashed potatoes, pepper. Pepper could go with the salt. Rice. Oops, rice, um, sugar, yeah, see, that's just, I would have to move way too many things around. Yeah, let me see. I think, I think what I want to do, what the heck? Did you see that? This guy had a freaking thing of salmon stuck on his, <laughs> on his hand. <laughs> that was so weird. Um, okay. <laughs> oh my god, I hate the little yogurts. Ugh, they're so hard to press sometimes because I try to spam this so fast. This probably is my favorite part of this game <laughs> is cashing people out. It's just so fun. Wow, a lot of cereal there. Oh, that's a decent order. How much is that? 179. Okay. Couldn't find large sushi. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, uh -oh. What do you mean? What are you What are my guys doing? What are you guys doing? Hello? There is so much that needs to be stocked. Are you serious right now? Oh my god. They're broken. They're glitched. <laughs> Pick up my trash. <laughs> What is going on? I don't know why I grabbed this one instead of the six, but whatever. Um, what the heck? They are glitched, and that is really annoying. Um, I mean, one guy's moving, even though there's a lot of empty shelves. There's no flour on the shelves. What is going on right now? I feel like that's been like the theme lately. They just keep glitching and not working. Whoa, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's happening. This kind of sucks. At least, at least they're grabbing the trash somehow, but I think it's one guy. Oh man, all right, whatever. It's nine o'clock, let's finish the day. I think what I'll do, yeah, I know, I know my store isn't stocked, I'm sorry. I think what I'll do is play a little bit off screen where all I'm gonna do is just run days in stock, run days in stock, if my stalkers even work. I might have to fire them and hire them again, but, um, and just collect a lot of money and we can do that beer cave soon and get that license. And I probably, I'll probably run a few days and not record just because, you know, it's just a lot of the same thing. And then start recording. Oh my god, there's just way too much to be stocked. I'll do a little until these guys are done ringing people up. But then I don't really know what I'm going to do. I don't know if... I'm obviously going to start first by maybe restarting my game. And then we'll go from there. But, alright, these guys are done ringing people up. This is annoying, so let me see if I can figure out what the heck is going on. All right, you can't see my screen for some reason right now, but I can tell you that one of my guys grabbed, oh, there they go, they started moving. One of my guys went to grab that empty box and none of them were moving, but now they're all moving. So hopefully that fixed the problem. I'm gonna move to the next day. Ugh, a product's not found, that's so annoying. We still somehow made a profit, a really tiny profit, but 
Let me set these, and then what I'm gonna do is just let my game run and let them stock since everything got super, super unstocked. <laughs> um, since every, all the shelves got emptied out, I'm gonna let them just do their thing and play with my little guy for a little bit. And like I said, I'll stock everything, run days, and we'll come back with hopefully way more money than this. How much, I think I have enough to get the license. I just need to be store level 56. Shoot, I forgot about that. That's a lot. Well, anyway, I'll run days. Um, if anything, I might hop back in and record when I'm trying to figure out this beer cave situation and all that good stuff. So we'll see how that goes.